the best oat milk. Good morning. I just woke up. It's 6.30 in the morning. And I am starting a new morning routine. I've been trying to rebuild a more proper structured morning routine just so I can fall in love with it and love waking up at 6 a.m. in the mornings. It's been a while. I feel like I haven't had like a solid, solid, solid morning routine in a minute. Like I will have a little bit of a routine, but because I've been waking up around like anywhere between like 7.30 to like 8 even, sometimes I just like feel like my days are so much more chaotic and my days aren't as intentional and I don't like that one bit and for that reason I feel like I've also been on autopilot just like a lot of stuff that I've realized recently so I'm trying to rebuild my morning routine a lot of it is stuff that I've been doing for many many years but I've also added some things in so I figured why not just share that I definitely made some coffee first and I'm just gonna proceed with my little routine and yeah, I'll just show you what I'd be doing. Dive into my thoughts for a minute. Let me see if you're there. I've been thinking about going back, but I'll just disappoint you, I swear.
I just got done getting ready for a very special event that I'm going to tonight. I got invited to a Prada beauty event. I'm so excited. I don't normally get super excited about brand events, but I feel like this is like probably one of the most major events that I've probably gotten an invite to. So I'm super excited and grateful. And at first I was like, did they get the email wrong? Like I was so confused why I got invited, but and of course my plus one is my sister I, anytime i go get invited to any sort of events i always bring her because she's just always been the most supportive in this journey of mine but i want to show you what i'm wearing so it's my first time doing my hair like this i didn't even watch a youtube tutorial i just winged it and i feel like it kind of looks okay i have sparkly eyeshadow i haven't worn sparkly eyeshadow in so long my nails are disgusting but it's okay. And then I'm wearing this necklace that I got off of Mushinsa. It's like this Korean brand. A black top. For shoes, I'm wearing these silver pointed heels from Keyhole. It's like this other Korean brand. My first time wearing these. That's why I'm wearing them in the house right now. I've never worn them out. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm getting ready right now to go meet my parents because they're in New York for one night. Oh my god, my ADHD is ADHDing today. My parents are in town for one night because they're passing by 
before they go on a trip, a big trip. I'm so excited for them. It's like that feeling when you're immigrant parents that spent their entire life working finally is like living the life they deserved and worked so hard for. I'm so excited. It's so cold right now in New York. Google just said that it's about like 27 degrees real feel. So I put on my leggings. I usually wear heat tech, but this year I've just been wearing the Beyond Yoga. It keeps me really warm. Almost warmer than heat tech, I feel like. But yeah, I guess I'll catch you later. watch my tiktok you would know that i'm in my era of like loving korean brands and i somehow just got so lucky i don't know what i did to deserve it but i got on the pr list for osoi and now marge sherwood also sent me a bag but i want to show you the first korean brand that reached out that i mentioned earlier is osoi and they gifted me this bag which i love this is probably my daily driver because it kind of just goes with everything and then when I was choosing this bag, I couldn't choose between this one or this bag. So I ended up getting gifted this and then I bought this myself. And I love her. She's so cute. And now I have, I've been looking for like a really good basic black bag. And I feel like this is the perfect one. I would definitely make this a little bit shorter. Like maybe even like this, yeah. But I love the detailing, it's just so cute. And I feel like this can fit a lot in it. Like I will say the thing about the Azoi bags are they're a little small, they don't fit too many things in. Like I have a really large wallet, it's like a large CDG wallet. 
and it's kind of it's hard to fit into smaller bags but this will definitely fit in this bag like look how large it is there's so many things that could fit in here and i love how it has little pockets i to be honest i really wanted there at the march sherwood like the large the super large hobo bags put it right here um, but they've been sold out of it for so long. I'm going to Korea in April, so I can't wait to hopefully find that in store. But I love her. She's so cute. I'm so grateful. Now this is like my little Korean bag collection. Okay, let's open up the next package. This package, I actually know what it is already because for some reason... It got sent to my LA address and thank God um, our friend lives in LA now. Um, he was able to kind of send this back to me. <sighs> How cute is this? I'm dead. I love Say. Say is one of my favorite makeup brands. I love everything that they do. Like I feel like a lot of brands love throwing around the word community. I feel like Say really does a good job on like cultivating community. They do a lot of amazing, very thoughtful events. But yeah, let's see what's inside. Oh wow. There's so many. Okay, so this is their illuminating fluid, which I guess is kind of like the elf halo glow that i just used oh no this is like more of like a highlighter type thing oh shoot camera ran out of memory and then i had to restart it back to the unboxing i'm not gonna go through everything in here because there's so much in here like it even came with this little mirror which i love and all this other stuff i think i might film a video of me trying out the new blushes but I think for now, maybe I will try on one blush. There's so many. Well, let's see what this looks like. Because this one looks more like a peachy, corally. Ooh, okay, I might try out this one now. It's like a... Please excuse the nails. I'm doing it today. But like, look. So pretty. This look actually looks a little too highlightery, but we'll see how it looks on my skin. I feel like this is like really pigmented, but we'll try it like this. Oh, <gasps> fuck! This is so pigmented. Oh my god! Frick! Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> Hold on, I wasn't prepared for this. I just need to blend this in. Okay, here we go. Oh. If you can see, it's super pigmented. Okay, and then next I have a package from uh, Oh and Four. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I wanted a coat. And specifically a black plain one because I don't own one and it has been driving me crazy because I feel like my outfits have been a little lacking this winter because I only have like two long coats and they're like not they're like a little bit more sporty and casual and I feel like while this is casual as well I feel like this can also be very chic bought it in a size small medium Okay, the fit is a little bit boxy. I think overall I can kind of style it in a way where it looks better. Oh, yay. Oh my god, I finally got a plain black sweater. The sweater I'm wearing right now is actually mixed. I actually got this for him for one of his Christmas gifts. And then of course I took it. And so I've been looking for like a plain black good sweater. Thank you so much. The last thing I chose are these black trouser pants because I realized I just don't have like a good pair of black trousers. Let me try it on. Okay, I actually think these are perfect. They're the perfect length and the perfect fit. 
I love it. <laughs> and then honestly, that's pretty much it. Um, I kind of have to get back to work now, so we'll end this vlog here.